Hi, I'm Paquillo. I'm the manager of the Bearded Vulture Captive Breeding Center, Guadalentín, here in Cazorla. And now we are going to do a virtual tour. So, follow me. Guadalentín well, was inaugurated in 1996, 10 years after the bearded vulture disappeared here in Andalusia, in our community. Uh, since then, uh, 100, 138 chicks have hatched in this, uh, in this center, and from these 138, uh, 129 have survived. Well, this is the laboratory of the breeding center. Here we can control, we are the most of the time during the breeding season, uh, controlling the images of the video surveillance uh, system. And in this way we can, we can know if the, the birds are copulating properly, if they are building nests together, if uh, they are fighting each other or everything. And, uh, yeah, the, we can say that that this is the soul, the soul of the of the breeding center. Two hours after after the hatching of the chick, we put the chick in these trays with wool eh? and under these heater lamps. This way, we can control the temperature of the of the chick. If the chick is cold, we put a lamp like this, and if it's hot like this and it's very easy to control the temperature in, during the, the raising of the chicks here in the laboratory. Here in Guadalentín all our breeding pairs are used to do double adoptions. This is to say we have only six breeding pairs in Guadalentín and usually we raise 10, 11, 12 chicks every year. So how, we do, it? how do we do it? Okay, when we have uh, chicks in all the nest, and we have another one here in the laboratory, five, six days old, and is in the age to adopt with uh, to adopt it with uh, with a pair, a foster pair. What we do is the following: we take one chick, 24, 25 days old, and we put it in a nest that we build. We put wool, we put branches, and we put the chick inside this nest. And in the nest built by the parents, we put the little one that we have in the laboratory. In this way, we, we, in this way they can raise two chicks at the same time because they are going to warm the little one in their nest, but they will, they will feed both of the chicks the little one and the oldest one. Now, when, when the chicks can stand up and they see each other, they start fighting each other. So, uh, what we do is to put a, a wood panel between two nests and we avoid the fights between the chicks. The parents uh, are able to go to feed both chicks because in this nest they go uh, through the through the perches and, and to this one they go through the stairs okay and this is the way that we do to 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 raise two chicks with the same couple and now we are going to to introduce you uh, the six breeding pairs that we have in Guadalentín all the cages uh, have the same structure the perches where the where the birds can walk and, and sit, the platform, covered platform with the nest on the right, the stairs to 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 let the, the birds go in from the floor to the to the platform, and the pools. Here is the pool when, where the, the birds can drink and and take baths, and the little one is where we put. A uh, red red mat for the for the bird vulture. These are Montero and Nona. Montero is the male. 
this one who who is flying and Nava is the female just in the in the nest uh, they are Montero is 15 years old and Nava 13 years old Montero was born here in Guadalentín and the female is coming from uh, uh, Richard Faust Centrum in Austria they are breeding since two years ago three years ago I think they are they, they, they are a good pair but the, the the male doesn't know still what to do when it, when it, when he has a chick in the nest these are borosa and toba borosa is on the left of the image and toba the female is on the right as you can see in this species uh, there is no sexual dimorphism and we have to to pay attention to uh, small details of each individual to know who is who. These are Lazaro and Nava. Lazaro is on the left and Nava is on the right. When, when, when we are in the British season, uh, the eggs remain in the, in the nest during almost the whole incubation. And we, we intervene when the chicks are for five days to hatch. Uh, in this moment we remove the, the eggs and, and put dummy eggs in the nest to keep the pair uh, incubating. Well, this is another pair, the male Elias. It's a very nice bird but uh, very difficult to work with because he is very very aggressive with the, with the staff of the, of the breeding center and when we when we are going to remove the eggs from the from the nest or when we are going to put the chick in the nest or everything uh, or whatever uh, a colleague of mine has to to come in the cage together together with me because if not it's impossible to work with these two birds and here you can see viola viola is the female She's <laughs> looking at Theo, the cameraman. Okay, now you are you are seeing Andalucía. Andalucía is a male, and it was the first chick born here in Guadalentín in 2002. Actually, he's 22 years old, and he's sharing the cage with her partner, with his partner, sorry, uh, Salvia, that is there in the in the platform. You can see Andalusia. Andalusia is a nervous because he was showing a lot the sclerotic, the red sclerotic, and this is a sign of that uh, he, he is nervous. When the individuals of a pair are fighting each other uh, and the time passes and they, they don't stop fighting, we use a bird like this. This is Ambrosio, a raven, and he brings peace to the <laughs> to the to, to the pair and to the cage. And this is the sixth breeding pair in Guadalentín. They are Keno, the female, here, and Joseph, the male, over there, walking on the perch. Uh, Joseph is 34 years old. Is the second oldest bird in in the center, and Keno is uh, 25 years old. Joseph and Keno are in love since the first time that they see each other. Uh, but it's a strange uh, pair to work with because the the male doesn't know what to do when when he has a chick in the nest. Is it, uh, a little similar uh, with the case of Montero, the first male that you have seen. And uh, when we have uh, a, a chick five, six days old, and we are going to put the chick in this cage, we have to remove Joseph, the male, two or three days before put the chick in the nest. And we let the female alone in the cage. And she's a very, very, very good bird raising chicks. Uh, every year she raises two chicks at the same time 
by herself and it's a perfect mother and when the breeding periods period sorry finishes we put them together again and doesn't mind the time that has passed since we removed the, the male from the cage because they <laughs> they are in, in a very good uh, 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 relationship Okay, this is the end of our virtual tour in Guadalentín and Rin Ran <laughs> and me, we both wish you the best and be happy. See you.